Hello and welcome to another video. This video is going to be update one on yet another build. Um, my previous video uh, was update number one for my Challenger 2 build. Um, and I'm going to film update number two after this video. And I'll explain in a bit more detail in that video why I've come to be starting this build. Uh, now, what this build is, is the French AUF-1 or GCT 155mm. I kind of seem to... If you search for AUF-1 on the internet, you don't really find this, you find other stuff. Uh, GCT uh, 155mm seems to bring up much more information about this particular vehicle. What this is, is, well, was, it's starting to be phased out now, was the standard self-propelled artillery uh, for the French Armed Forces. I believe it's been around since the 80s, the 70s or 80s, I think, um, and shares the hull with the old AMX-30 tank, which I believe was the, the kind of standard French main battle tank before the Leclerc came around in the 90s. This still uses the same chassis. It's 155, has a lot of standard NATO howitzers are nowadays, and has, as you can see on the instructions there, a huge ass gun and a huge ass turret. Uh, this kit is part of my kind of vague ambition to to eventually have a collection of all the available modern 135 scale uh, self propelled howitzers. Um, this kind of started off when I did my AS90, I really enjoyed building it and it looks great on the shelf and I kind of just went, right, what other modern SPGs are there? This was one that came up, I believe these, I believe many are the only people who make this. Uh, there's obviously the Ravel PZH2000, although it's uh, an absolute pig to get hold of because I believe it's now out of production. So I've seen them on eBay but only from Hong Kong or Australia and stuff and they kind of get a bit expensive really, So, which is a shame because it's a cracking looking tank and they're huge um, you know and frankly I want one there's the um, Academy I believe Academy K9 the um, Korean Korean one uh, Trumpeter I believe do the uh, Japanese Type 99 there's obviously numerous models for the M109 from the early marks right up through to the the latest offering which I believe is Tamiya's uh, version of the 1986 Paladin. Uh, I believe it's just actually a rebox of the Italeri kit though, so um, they're pretty similar, I believe. Uh, I believe At Academy do an MLRS, or used to, so that'd be cool to have. Uh, what else? There's one or two others. Trumpeter do the Dana, which is a Czech wheeled um, SPG. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it. Anyway, so this was on the list, and frankly, I found one cheap on eBay because the box is damaged. That's the damage on the box, and it meant that I got this kit for a heck of a lot cheaper than the RRP. And it, the kit itself was fine; you know, it wasn't used or anything. It was from a from a store, but they were selling it cheaper because it was damaged. So, I won't bother doing a review because Norm Lajoie, uh, he did a, an absolutely cracking review on this kit before. So, if you just search for Meng, uh, uh, you know, AUF1 review, uh, you'll bring up his video will come up and uh, you can see a better inbox review of what the kit is. Uh, frankly, it is an entire box full of sprues. Every single sprue is individually wrapped. Um, there's photo etch clear parts, there's photo etch masks there for the tracks and for the road wheels um, and the tracks are individual links on sprues there is one, two, three, four, five sprues in there uh, each track link has two parts, sorry for the reflection, has two track parts one, two, so you get on one of the sprues there is a little jig Partly for folding some of the photo etch parts, the exhaust covers, uh, these parts here, these grills here need folded. So you get a little jig to fold them and a little jig for making up your tracks. So here's what I've done so far. Uh, lower hull, 
we start on this side because it's less done than the, the other side. Um, so all these parts that you can see, you know, here, 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 here. Uh, not not these bits. These bits are molded, but here, 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 and obviously the sprocket is on the end there. Uh, all need to be stuck on. So there's quite a bit of detail to to attach onto the bottom. Um, now obviously these little pegs are where the return rollers will go, um, and then we've got the dry sprocket, which obviously has a poly cap, so it's it's just placed in place for now. Now this kit actually has torsion bar suspension, so that's what these holes are for here. I'll show you that in a second because I have done the torsion bars on the other side. There is shock absorbers here, which um, which are articulated still, which is bloody cool. Each one of those, each one of these parts is about five parts, um, so that was quite good fun for doing that. So if we turn over the other side, uh, you can see the arms here. So these are the torsion bar arms, um, which go through here. So there's obviously the grooves for the other side. Oops. And as you can see, all the suspension moves. And these front ones are connected to the shock absorbers as well, which move. So that's blue and cool. So that's it so far. It's uh, going together pretty well. Uh, no fit issues, no... There's some parts have actually got a little bit of flash on them. I don't know how old this kit is now. Mang have not been around for hugely long, I don't think, so it should be a... In 2012, so it's a little bit a little bit surprising that for a 2012 kit there is um, a bit of flash, but it's only tiny little bits on some of the small parts, really, so it's nothing major. Plastic's very hard, so kind of cleaning up the the bits left on the spruce when you cut them out it can be a little bit tricky, and uh, I'll have to be very careful when it comes to some of the really small parts to that I don't break them because the the, the plastic is quite brittle. So, well, not brittle, but it's hard, so it takes quite a bit to cut through them. So, so this is it. I'll try and get this under ten minutes. So that's my update number one. Uh, I don't know what I'll have done by next time, but whatever it is, I'll do an update in the in the coming days or week or so. Um, if you wish you can also follow this build on ISM I'll put the link to the build thread in the description of the video so if you want to see some more pictures of this build uh, some more work in progress pictures go and head over there and check out that thread um, if, you're new to, if you're new to this channel uh, hit the subscribe button and um, you'll, see some more, you'll see some more updates on other models in the future so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye now